actor Edward James Olmo first came to prominence in Miami Vice. We're on. Teachers have made a profound difference to Edward James Olmo, particularly this man, Thomas Silver. Thank you. Thank you. He was uh, extremely funny because uh, he stands about six foot six, six foot five. Ever since I've known him, he's had a, a shaved head. Totally. So he in himself was an, a tremendous, tremendous aura about him and a tremendous uh, feeling of passion and compassion. Almost enrolled in Professor Silliman's class at East Los Angeles Community College in 1964. It was a visual arts class, but it encompassed every aspect of life and it encompassed all of the disciplines, dance, movement. Tom Silliman still teaches that course. He also directs the college's art so gallery, which is named for the actor Vincent Price, who donated most of the gallery's 2,000 works of art from his own collection. As a teacher, Silliman uses the gallery, the campus, sometimes the entire city of Los Angeles as a classroom. Tom um, Silliman never had a structured class. You, had, you went to a, a, a classroom, but it was always in movement. He would use that classroom as a vehicle of getting everybody to, to, you know, to unite. Come on in. He's had such a love and passion for what he was teaching that every day was an explosion. Let's try it again. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. You'd go in there and the guy was just exploding, you know, and he, he would send you on your way with a tremendous ability to see. This is why I remember Eddie Olmos, is, is because I, I, I remember the light in his eyes. I mean, I was aware of the, you know, he was one of my converts. He opened up the world of art, and that's the world I live in now. I want you to, to buy something. I want you to have the pleasure of owning something. And he and did it from a, a, a appreciation yourself. class, and he did it with uh, the gift of understanding that all the discipline was interrelated. It doesn't sound, though, as if he did it by lecturing to you. Never. He wouldn't lecture. He would explode. <laughs> Take a touch. My friend here. Uh, touch whatever part you like. And uh, uh, this is a, a new arrival in our collection. This is also a gift from Vincent. It was out in his backyard. You ready for that? This is, the, the, this is a piece of sculpture from New Guinea, one of the most fascinating places on Earth. It's mostly based upon male fertility. And you, can you tell that? Uh, <laughs> It's, it's, it's no place for women's rights in New Guinea. There's no ERA chapter in downtown New Guinea. Tell me about Eddie Olmos as a student. He's quiet. Uh, he was um, uh, always asking questions. I remember in his case, it was a business about earning a living because, because he hadn't planned on going into acting, as I recall. The question was, can you make it in, in theater? Can you make it in any of the arts? Because the, because the cliche is you can't make it. Mm -hmm. Well, of course you can. It's going to be hard, but whatever you choose is going to be hard. He gave me the courage to explore, and that is a real strong word to use, to explore one's life and not be afraid. Talent equals interest. If you are this business that talent is, you know, a God-given thing, I mean, <laughs> it's a bunch of hooey. Uh, it's, it's, uh, as long as you've got a, you know, a complete set of, of marbles and you're, you know, you, you can function properly, uh, there's no reason why you can't do anything that you want to do, you know, including art. Art is not that rarefied thing. It, 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 takes, it, it, takes, it takes practice, it takes discipline, it takes learning, like anything else. Just let it be. Na, 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 the power to wake up young minds, the power to wake up the world, teachers have that power. For actor Edward James Olmos, the best teachers are given. The teacher's position is one of, of uh, releasing energy to get back energy. And the energy you get back is 10 times stronger than the energy you give out. You give 1,000%, you're gonna get back 10,000%. You have to be a giver. You, you have to um, want to educate. You have to enjoy the process. And um, that part of it's an art, I think. No, Classroom teaching is a constant challenge. I mean, it's every minute, every second. There isn't time to say, oh God, what should I do? This is a, this chapter four, and I, mm, I should mm, do this. I mean, you gotta respond now, baby, you know? You don't, if, if, if your reflexes aren't uh, 
aren't what they should be, you're going to fail. Teaching is a kind of mutual therapy. It's a partnership between, between the teacher and the student. It's like group therapy. It's really a prize. It's one of our most valuable pieces, too. As a teacher, um, Tom Silliman does not put art much, on a huh? pedestal. Right. Worth about a quarter million. If students uh, want to talk about money, uh, he talks about money. What something worth like that? Is, is it because this, uh, this is worth about $8,000, this is a quarter million? Is this better than this? No, not necessarily so. It just means that there are fewer of these and more people want them. Do you hope then that, that most of your students will say, there's a big part of me that's an artist, I am going to go create? No, the art is a big part of me. Ah. Okay. Art is a big part of me. And, and you're, it's like you're giving them a little license. So sure. Here. To, be, to, 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 be aware of, to be aware of what it is. I like to show people that there's a world out there, that art is pleasure, that art is uh, every day. Art is something that we all have a need for in some way, whether it be the way we set a table, the, the particular car we have to have, uh, the clothes we have to own that we don't need to keep warm but because of the way we look and the way we identify with them. Art comes in many, many, many ways. And um, I like to see my students um, become aware of the pleasures of what they select visually. If you had it to do over again, would you be a teacher? Yes and no. I mean, I have so many conflicting, conflicting things about, about teaching that, that, that it, we, we are a capitalist society. Um, take it or leave it. And um, while that isn't the only thing that's important, money, um, it does affect your self-image. I think everyone is aware how much they earn. And um, after 35 years, I'm, st I'm still at the bottom of the pay scale. You know, that, and that, yes, that does affect me. There's nothing glamorous about this. <laughs> after 35 years for teaching and running the Vincent Price Gallery, Silliman earns just under $60,000 a year. Our society does not really validate you. Uh, teachers are not held in that high esteem. I mean, there are, there are, there, there, there are, there are no uh, promotions in teaching. Um, it, it's a dead-end alley, and th that's a tragedy. It, it's difficult to, every day, to stand tall. I'm a teacher. You know, you, you want to say, you know, I'm a teacher. You know. uh, because the public does not revere you, which is sad. But do you wish you had become a plumber? No, no, no. No, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I mean, it, it, it's, it's what I do. It's what I love to do. I never have had a day when I don't want to come to work. I'm proud to have um, helped influence a, a person as fine as Eddie Olmos, and he's a, a wonderful human being. The power of teaching. Eddie is, is everything I think a teacher would want to have in a former student. The very fact that he, that, that he honors his former teacher. You know, most people don't even mention it. You've never forgotten who he is and his responsibility.